verify your PS, the peer assessment. That's why you have the worksheets. Okay? And then, a positive thing about peer assessment is, tadi, I notice, kita cigo sama cigilante buat discussing. Macam, eh, kalau aku, jauh-jauh aku tandang, hampir ke sini, biar dia berlari. That's what you want to hear. Because you are communicating. Like I said, this peer, both of us yang here, are communicating with, communicating with one another. Because sometimes, us teacher can't relate to what their lingo is. Or what the language yang mereka pakai kadang-kadang. In terms of language, adalah ada orang punya terms. Like cool tia, but okay, I don't really know what's going on. Like what's up tia, you know those lingos. So kadang-kadang they have, they can explain to one another. So that's the wonderful thing about peer assessment. Okay. All right. So far, any other questions on peer assessment and teacher assessment? Yeah. All right. So in regards to teachers and peer assessment, I know it's very challenging to teach your students on how to accurately assess. But this is the point of SPN 21. Teachers are the facilitators we want it to be student-centered. Am I right? So that's why we need to put responsibilities for the students. Okay, I know, I believe that if we, it's going to be hard in the beginning because it's quite new okay, for the students to have more roles. But in the long run, okay, it will be a very nice outcome. Okay? Take example from our students at Young UR9 and the MM4 combined. We can see the difference in terms of their creativity and questioning. Okay, this is what we need to achieve in the future. We want our students to be more dynamic. Okay, I think that's all from me for now. All right, to wrap up, no other questions. Oh, uh, activity. Uh, what are the teachers? Kita bertanya tadi kan Pasal the equipment Variation of equipment in the game We use keywords and it was raga Bula raga He said kami punya It was a padang turf It was a turf uh, flooring Whereas ours is tanah So what you can do is you can very uh, How do you say uh, Differentiate Not really differentiate You can um, adjust the equipment Instead of bula raga Maybe you can use bula futsal Yang in the bounce yang tinggi Or if you're gonna do it in the gym You can roll up Instead of using your feet You can roll up uh, Surat kabar Get those plastic balls Yang the kids use for um, Yang ada sugar bun yang masuk Ada the bowl, pool of balls You can use those balls And you can roll up your uh, Surat kabar itu Hit Pump And it lays You won't fly very far Or Kalau boleh pakai tangan saja Because it's not that hard Okay, so you can very uh, Change just the equipment Okay So that's what's the wonderful thing about TGFU But you still can Assess the same concept Okay Alright So that's for the feedback on activity Students sudah tadi The assessment, interview Now What you need is to be creative Yes, sometimes it's a bit difficult to come out with other games, but sometimes with trial and practice, you can get new games. You have to be creative. Right? Our game just now was a combination of football and this game called Fireworks with Chigo. Uh, I'm sure Chigo Latif can verify with me, right, Chigo? That game was called Fireworks, kan? But instead of uh, the hit ball, the implementation, we use pocket kaki. So that's why it's called Kickworks. So it's a mixture. And then you have to organize your lessons and be prepared. As you can see, we prepare with worksheets, we prepare with videos, as well as the diagram on how to play. Alright? Then try and practice. Definitely in this situation, it makes it perfect. Alright? Now, Chiku, you have your break until 10.30. And then we we'll start off with TGFU in Invasion. All right, you can have your break now. Thanks, teachers. Okay, welcome back, teachers. 
Yeah, just to recap, not in, only in Thailand, but first of all, it's me again, Kudu Masnor, or more familiar, but familiarized by the name Chirupai. Any other way, it's still my name. Uh, yeah, as long as you still remember me throughout your lifetime. Okay, just a recap. Okay, invasion, I know it's very popular because I believe all the teachers here have been at least played a game in a type of invasion. Okay, we'll watch some videos to help you recap. But uh, before I'll show you, who can give me an example of an invasion game? Yeah, football again. Just here, hockey again. Invasion netball, basketball, yes, yeah. handball, good. Okay? Futsal, see, you got the idea. So, to cut it short, to cut it short, that is the end of my presentation. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. Uh, Alright, um, we'll watch a video in, in five, three videos. Oops. When I was younger, still young, PG region. Any male teachers have any idea where I got this from? FIFA? I love it. Because Nasek wants this for his birthday. And this is the only gift that I can give it to him. <laughs> On the side. Not real thing. They will see. Okay, notice how these two teams played against each other. Thank <laughs> you. 